All right, so this video is probably going to be 10 minutes or more, so I want to just jump right into it. You can see what the title is about. You know what this is. Um, I've been to every Mania with the exception of 29 since WrestleMania 25 in 2009. Um, I'm not going to go year by year just because, honestly, the first two, I were, it was main, mainly solo trips for the most part, although I did meet up with Luke um, in 26. I did go with a friend, actually, now that I remember, to 25, but there weren't they weren't legit group trips, so I'm just going to skip to 27 uh, probably I'm actually gonna go out of order the first thing I can tell you is if you are looking at WrestleMania access and you say hey that is the thing for me I want to do that I want to meet people or if, if even more than that further than that you already have tickets for some access sessions or all the sessions plan accordingly with your other things uh, what I mean by that is if you are going to go to I don't know every access session on Friday every access session on Saturday whatever it is if you're if you have a whole day packed of access sessions <clears throat> and you know you want to do other things give yourself time really lay out your plans like on a piece of paper or whatever it is and look at how much time you're going to be using for example if you have general admission for access be there two hours before the session starts. If it's if the session is from 8 to 12, be there at 6 a.m. If the session is from 1 to 5, be there at 11 a.m. to get in line. Uh, just because there's going to be a lot of people, general admission gets admitted to the building before, or I'm sorry, after all the VIP ticket holders go in. So you definitely want to be there early to at least get that one good signee, hopefully, that one good signee um, with for your 50 bucks that you spend. If you have a VIP ticket for that session, I think you can honestly get away with just being there an hour early. Will you be the first person in line of your VIP line? You won't, but you still get first access to the building before all the GA people. As long as you get in there and just run like crazy, then you can pretty much get to the pe the person you want and you'll be fine. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, downloading the WrestleMania app is a big, uh, big key. I know... Uh, not last year, but the year before at Red 30, that was like super key. Like it tells you where each guy's going to sign. Last year was very laggy. It didn't update as quickly, but in, at a, in New Orleans, that thing was like, oh man, that was, that was really key for me. I, I remember that's how I ran to the, to the Wyatts, you know, right away. And you know, now not, not so much of a throw to me, the Wyatts, but back then it was, and uh, I went to them and uh, I found them quickly. So that's one thing I would tell you. Uh, with the time uh, things, what I mean is, for example, let's just put this into scenario. Let's say you are going to... Oh, shit. What's, uh, what's something I could say? Let's say you're going to the access session Saturday morning from 8 to 12. And then you also want to do... Um, oh, God. What the hell is up? There's a show at 3 on Saturday. I don't remember if it's CZW or Sh or Shimmer, something. I know those two things may not sound appealing, but work with me here. Let's just, whatever it is, let's say you're going to from, um, let's say you're going to access from 8 to 12. Actually, I'll give you a more realistic situation. Let's say you're going from access Saturday morning, 8 to 12, and you're also wanting to do the Evolve show at, at 12. But you know that you're going to leave early from that access session, that access session, uh, because you are probably going to meet your VIP or if you're general mission you look at the list and you're like Okay, I just want to go meet that guy or that girl and then I'm out of there and I'll make it to evolve really take take into consideration um, How long are you gonna be at access? How much are you gonna spend at access? You may already have your ticket But once you're there, you're probably gonna want to buy the I was there t-shirt a program Things that you do not want to have to get in line for at WrestleMania because those merch stand lines at WrestleMania are ridiculously long. They make the DMV lines look like short lines. It is, it's a zoo once you get to WrestleMania. So things, things you want to take into consideration. So then you get out of, let's say you get out of access at 11 a.m., then you go back to your hotel, change, then how long is it going to take for your cab or Uber to come pick you up, then to take you there, then to get in line to get into Evolve, and to make sure you don't miss the first match. I know Evolve is notorious for starting late, but work with me here. Things like that. You really want to map out your trip because you do not want to go off of their schedules. You do not want to go off, well, this sex, this access session ends at 12. This show says on the ticket that it starts at 1, whatever it is. Don't go by their schedules. Go by your schedule because, remember, they'll start without you. They don't really care. They already have your money. But you do not want to miss the stuff you already paid your hard-earned money for. You need to map out your trip. 
really like just lay it out and see how much time it's going to take realistically if you have questions about how much time it'll take to do something shoot me a tweet i may be able to help you I'm, i haven't done every single wrestlemania trip thing there is out there but i've done quite a few and if, if it'll help you you know map out your trip a little bit better i'll be happy to help um your toilets you know like uh shampoo conditioner uh soap toothpaste uh, all those things i would recommend if you can't if you if you can avoid traveling with those the better. I traveled with them. Um, I can't remember almost every trip, but in Miami, I think it was my body wash. Like I don't know. Like I kind of like. I don't know what happened, but it spilled inside my bag. Thankfully, it was sealed inside a zippy bag. You know, a ziplock bag, or not a ziplock, but like it was the, like the zip compartment inside the the luggage. So it didn't spread out to my clothes. Thankfully, but point is, you you can to avoid that and possible TSA you know, thing or holdups in the airport, I would, I would say just don't travel with those. That way you can get to Walmart or wherever it is, a convenience store, close by to your hotel and just buy everything. And you can just buy travel sizes that'll hold you enough for the trip and you don't have to throw away any excessive uh, amount that you didn't use um, come Tuesday or Monday, whenever it is that you're leaving. Um, things that you also may want to add to your shopping list if you are going to a Walmart or said convenience store when you get to Dallas is disinfectant spray and or Clorox wipes because let's face it, hotels are not, a are not our houses. You do not know what goes on in those hotels probably having a good idea but my point is i don't care if you're staying at the hyatt the hilton or a motel six they're all you know they're all uh rooms that have had many 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 people stay there you do not know what goes on in there so it's always good that that's just me um you know i do that um the jr as far as events that weekend i've our ROH, you know, I've done it a lot of times where it's not a, re a really a real thrill for me, so I'm not doing that this year. If you have tickets to this year and you're wondering if you're going to have fun, you've never been to an ROH show, you m will most likely have fun. If you like wrestling, you will like that show. It, 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 it's, it's just a fun time. And if you can meet the wrestlers before that, you know, that that's also very cool. It's always, uh, or usually uh, <laughs> uh, ran pretty well organized uh, for those shows, so that, that should be fun. The JR one-man show is something that I've seen come up just because he's having more sessions this year. I know he's even having one Monday night after uh, Raw, so he's officially the last thing of the WrestleMania trip, um, of WrestleMania weekend for the first time, I think, ever, when it's not WWE Raw. Um, personally, if you have a VIP ticket, you're going to meet JR, and you're going to get that picture and autograph with your ticket. Hey, that's cool. You don't have to rely so much on the quality of the storytelling. If you're just going there, general mission, you're just going to hear them, you know, talk stories, whatever. Don't get your hopes up. It. I personally thought that I was expecting a lot. I didn't get half of what I thought. I got barely an interesting amount of stories. It just, I don't know. It was a lot of stuff I've heard before on podcasts or DVDs. And, you know, I think the one thing that was kind of weird is that it, or just different is that he was cursing. You know, no split. No, um no uh, language language restraints um but other than that it's like eh, if, if you i personally would rather just spend the time hanging out with my buddies that week uh, that weekend that night instead of going to a show that i know i'm not going to be you know into um other than that i mean there's nothing else i mean ro uh, rooming your uh, your hotel i mean i think by now everyone should have the rooms if you don't have a room for dallas and you're still looking Good luck. But uh, with that being said, also try to squeeze in people in, in, in a room, man. I mean, it just, you're not going to spend that much time in your room. As long as you have a nice, comfortable spot so you can get a, a good night's rest, then you'll be fine for the next day in your activities. Um, I know that I've bunked with every, I bunk with people um, since 27 and it, it's worked out great. Um, it just, and plus, when, if you know you're going to hang out, go to shows together, you don't have to go through this whole, you know, ruhaha of like, oh, what time are we meeting here? Or, oh, are you on your way? We're already here. Oh, where are you? I can't, I don't, I can't find you. No, you, you leave the room together, you get ready together, you return together. It's just, it's much more, it just, it makes for a much more smooth sailing of a trip. But honestly, that's just mistakes. Just don't overwhelm yourself with access. Give yourself time. Map out your trip. Uh, write it down. Or, I don't know, make a schedule of it. That's what we do every year. And uh, just go with a good budget. Um, go, like, I would say take at least an, a nice amount of money. Uh, 
<clears throat> extra from what you think you're going to spend just to make sure you're not literally counting every single transaction as you're there and you're not you know worrying yourself too thin or turning back with like two dollars in your bank account but yeah that's it for me if you guys have any more questions i didn't answer shoot me a tweet at it's miguel you thank you guys for watching